During an Ohio Senate debate with Republican J.D. Vance, Democrat Tim Ryan doubles down on stupidity and idiocy with his kill and confront MAGA comment. Are you retarded? Should you expect nothing less? Oh, it's true! It's damn true! I'm Jazz Braganzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jazz Gonzo here, another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Happy Tuesday. Well, when you say something once and you stick by it and you are confident about it, why not say it again? Well, it depends. If it's stupid and asinine and idiotic, yeah, you just might be a Democrat. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Democrat Tim Ryan doubles down on call to kill and confront MAGA Republicans, specifically targets J.D. Vance in violent rhetoric. Democrat Representative Tim Ryan doubled down on his comments from earlier this year, calling to kill and confront MAGA while specifically targeting J.D. Vance in a rhetoric during the debate on Monday night for the Senate. In a heated debate between Ryan and his Republican opponent for Ohio's open U.S. Senate seat, Ryan was confronted when asked about explaining his comments earlier the year when told MSNBC's Morning Joe, more like Morning Jackass, that the exhausted majority needs to, quote, kill and confront the extremist Republican movement. Now, Ryan, during the debate, doubling down on his comments, included Vance in his group of people he labeled as extremists. Kill and confront the extremist movement, of which J.D. Vance, unfortunately, is a part of, quote, unquote, Ryan claimed. Ryan tried to frame Vance for his past comments, adding, said, Who says the President of the United States isn't intentionally trying to kill people with fentanyl? Who says that the election was stolen? Who runs around with Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida? Yes, Governor Ron Macho Man to Savage, America's governor, who wants to ban books? Lies. Runs around with Lindsey Graham? Lies. Who wants a national abortion ban? Uh, that's true about Lindsey Graham. You're running around with Marjorie Taylor Greene? who is an absolute looniest politician in America. No, she's a savage who speaks truth. Ryan said, looking to the list of lawmakers, Vance has come in contact with or commented on the campaign trail. This is a dangerous group and we do not need, and we do need to confront it. Excuse me. That's why I'm running uh, to present the exhausted majority, Democrats, Republicans, independents against the extreme. Yes, the extreme phobics and the racism. Ryan finished. Vance, during the question before, I also confronted Ryan for his past comments, saying, Tim Ryan, who runs all these TV commercials saying that they, he wants to appeal to Trump voters, wants to appeal to Republicans who also say he wants to kill and confront the MAGA movement? Quote, that's not exactly the rhetoric of a unifier, Vance added. But um, let's hear a little bit who did not vote for him? Well, I didn't say that he was intentionally killing people. What I said, Colleen, is that his rhetoric on how he views people who didn't vote for him is totally beyond the pale and totally unacceptable. And by Fact. the way, Tim Ryan, who runs all these TV commercials saying that he wants to appeal to Trump voters, wants to appeal to Republicans, also says that he wants to <clears throat> kill and confront what is it, the MAGA movement, Tim? That's not exactly the rhetoric of a unifier. What I do think is that the end result of Joe Biden's policies and the end result of his rhetoric is that one, we hate each other a lot more than we did two years ago. That's a significant failure of leadership. And yes, the fentanyl crisis is way worse than it was two years ago. Why is it way Back. worse? Because Tim Ryan and Joe Biden have conspired together to reject every border wall funding proposal, to Back. reject every proposal to cut off the amnesty, to reject Back. every proposal that would actually secure our border and stop Back. the flow of these illegal drugs. Boom. We go from that to this. Uh, J.D. Vance hammers Tim Ryan, Ohio girl would have been raped by illegal aliens had you done your damn job. Republican J.D. Vance hammered Tim Ryan on the issue of legal immigration and crime during Monday evening's debate for the Ohio Senate, say, so, oh, sorry, Ohio Senate seat. As Barbara News Chronicle, 27-year-old illegal alien Gerson Fuentes was arrested and charged in July with raping a girl in Columbus, Ohio, then became pregnant. The case was cited by President Joe Dementia after Supreme Court burned Roe because the girl traveled to an undergo an abortion on June 30th at six weeks 
pregnant. But yet, the little girl was supposed to be a poster child on the destruction of overturning Roe. But then when God called on it, of course, Joe Dementia ran in the basement. During the debate, Vance said he supported exemptions to abortion cases of rape and incest. Those exemptions allow the Ohio girl to undergo her abortion in the state of Indiana. At the same time, Vance blasted Ryan for his years-long support on mass immigration, lax border enforcement, amnesty for illegals, suggesting illegal alien crimes like the Ohio rape case are partially the result of lawmakers like longtime the Democrat congressman. Quote, you voted so many times against border wall funding, so many times against amnesty, Vance said, if you had done your job, I'm adding that in, of course, she would have never been raped in the first case. Frentes has been able to live in the United States for the last seven years working at a cafe despite his illegal alien status. ICE agency told Breitbart they had not previously encountered Frentes until his arrest for the raping of this girl. And it's, of course, it's not alleged, it's fact. <clears throat> And again, for a Democrat to double down on the nonsense that if you did not vote for Joe Dementia, uh, you are an extremist. So when you have over easily well over 50 percent of the country who voted for Donald Trump in 2020 and, of course, the shenanigans as a result of the election. You can see why Democrats will go to this extreme. Kill and confront extremists who voted for Donald Trump. So for those like you and me who did vote for Donald Trump, we're extremists and we need to be bumped off. Well, when you have comments like that, and then on top of it, allowing illegal aliens to continually cross the border to the point of over two and a half million that have flooded the borders since Joe Dementia was installed as president, you can see why J.D. Vance said what he said, and you can definitely understand why the Democrat moron Tim Ryan said what he said. To me, at the end of the day, I think J.D. Vance will win. I think it's going to be close. I think Vance will win it. And um, Tim Ryan, along with Pelosi, the little bartender, Maxine Waters, uh, idiots like that, hopefully come November, will be put in their place. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.